Yesterday was a big day for Universal Orlando, and for me as well. It was the opening day of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. As many of you know, I've been covering this project since, well, before Dragon Challenge closed, and of course, I wanted to be one of the first in line to ride it. I was expecting very long lines, so I arrived just prior to 5 a.m. They let us into the parking garage around 5.30, and by 6, they were letting everyone that was waiting outside Islands of Adventure through the turnstiles so we could wait in a massive queue they had set up inside the park. I ended up just a couple hundred people back in a massive queue that reached all the way from Hogsmeade to the park entrance. With the ride not actually opening until 9 a.m., I knew we were gonna be there for three hours. Team members were awesome, handing out free waters, and we can go to the bathroom or get snacks while we waited in line. As it got closer to opening, the Today Show started filming just ahead of us. We all had to cheer for the camera a few times, and then the first group went in. They were letting people in in groups so they could get lockers and allow time for the pre-show to finish. Finally, it was our turn to enter. We got our lockers, entered the queue, and it is really well done. I like this queue. While the original Dueling Dragons queue will always have a special place in my heart, the Dragon Challenge queue never quite felt like a real Potter ride queue. Just a stripped down Dragons queue. Now it finally feels like a real Potter ride. The pre-show is great. I like it better than the Gringotts one, especially with the water sprays and other features. And the new rooms in the queue are gorgeous. I'll talk more about the queue and what I thought of the ride on the Park Stop podcast, but I will say that the ride is a lot more punchy than I was expecting. Those seven launches really are powerful. The first few feel like you're really on an accelerating motorcycle, but that last launch, wow. <laughs> Behind me, guests were still lining up. With the park advertised as opening at 9 a.m., a lot of people showed up around then, only to find a line already stretching beyond Seuss Landing. Within an hour, the wait time was showing on the app as 10 hours long. And with lightning approaching the area, meaning the ride would have to shut down until it passes, I could see it getting even longer. Crazy thing is, people loved this ride, and nearly everyone agreed after getting off that it was worth the wait. Before I left the park, I stood at the exit for a while, and the people getting off the ride had waited between seven and eight hours to ride. And here's what everyone had to say. Universal has a massive hit on their hands, and while it's plain to see that Potter fever may not be dead, I think the real takeaway here is that people respond well to good rides. This is a really fun ride. It doesn't rely on screens, it combines the best practical elements of something like Forbidden Journey with a fun roller coaster like Cheetah Hunt to make a new experience that people not only are willing to wait 10 hours in the sun and the rain for, but still get off the ride smiling. Oh my God. Worth it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you're a fan, and stay tuned for the podcast coming soon with a deep dive into opening day and what I thought of the ride itself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.